Welcome to the beautiful show with Isabella Hrobak. The show is dedicated to the true identity and full expression of oneself. The truth is always evolving within us and around us. The authentic expression of self is even more important in those days when we can be rejected, judged, not appreciated or even mistreated. True identity and beauty from within is my gem. I am called by different names as a trainer, guide, speaker, teacher, life, spiritual, women and love coach, and even as an oracle and a witch. Those are just names. I am more concerned about the change in the world that I can create. The world where people respect and love each other without being rejected or judged, where truth and authenticity is expressed fully without being misunderstood, where femininity and women's desires are admired and fulfilled without being seen as weak. I'm advocating healthy relationships with self and with others, which are cultivated and respected rather than destroyed. When you tune into this show, you can experience topics ranging from health, fitness, body image and body movement, through life stories, success and money, to psychology, spirituality, love, sex, desires, and some hocus-pocus magic to spice it up a little. We post new episodes every Thursday, and you can keep up with the show notes by following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as Isabella Hrobak and Be Beautiful. You can always check the show notes and where to find me below each episode in YouTube. A few disclaimers. Not every episode of this show is meant for everyone. Every episode is special and for whoever needs it at their right time. Not all views will be in full alignment and agreement with you. And that's meant to be. We don't grow, expand and heal by staying in our glass container and in our own views and opinions. If you find it useful and inspirational, the best way to show your appreciation is to share it, subscribe to the channel, and leave us comments and reviews. Thank you for being here with me. Welcome, I'm Isabella Hrobak. I am a host of today's episode of The Beautiful Show. The place to be to share and learn how to fully express yourself and tap deep, deep into your worth and internal powers. We are very raw, vulnerable, open, authentic, and feminine in this show. Welcome, beautiful world. Welcome, beautiful goddesses. Today's episode is going to be about the presence. I'm going to teach you and show you why presence is such a fundamental and important thing and tool for any transformational self-work we are pursuing and how to tap into that present moment, how to allow yourself to be in the present moment, how to find those moments where you can be more present. The presence is, as I already mentioned, is something, something really, truly fundamental. It, nothing what is changing in our life, nothing what is happening in our life, nothing what we want to happen in our life can grow out of non-presence. Every single transformational self-help books, every single tools, every single tasks, anything you want to incorporate to better yourself needs to be based in the present moment, needs to be based on that foundation created by you. It needs to come from you being able to come to that present moment, find yourself comfortable with being present and being with yourself, with your emotions, with your thoughts, with your fears, with anything, whatever is going on in your body. It it is really, truly fundamental. Nothing can grow out of it. Nothing can be really pursued if we are not able to stop, 
to step back, to give a break, to to stop thinking and stop that mind chatter and be present and start listening what's actually going on inside of us, inside our heart, soul, what the intuition is telling us. So to be more specific, let me tell you my life story. I mean, not the whole story, but a little piece of it. I used to live like majority of the society lives today. Getting in the morning, doing morning routine. I mean, morning routine was like shower, you know, makeup, dressing up, getting ready for work. Of course, being already entirely anxious because it's a work, because I need to do this and already planning entire day and already that mind chatter making me so incredibly anxious and so stressed that I was resisting going to work. I was really having struggle to get out of the house, go to work, eventually ending up at the work, eating unhealthy food on the way because things has to be done right now. I need to be at work right now, right? And there is no time to eat healthy. There is no heat eating healthy. So go, 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 go. And doing the same at work, being constantly go, 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 like that zombie on the autopilot, just going, doing stuff, answering calls, making graphs, whatever the project was about, fulfilling it, making sure everyone around me is happy, making sure things are done on time or even before that. And of course, on the way to that one deadline, there were another 5 million things which needed to be multitasks so other people are even happier and making sure that everything is perfectly finished before going home whenever was that there was no time for anything there was no time for lunch no time for break no time for workout no time for walk because things had to be done and go 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 the same at home by the time get by the time i was getting home i was extremely tired i was underslept I mean, I don't know if there's water like that, but I didn't have enough sleep. I was under nurtured and nourished because of the lack of healthy food. And then on the way back home, I grabbed another unhealthy food, which I was eating while most likely watching TV or watching Netflix, some another hundred million episodes of another you know, series. And then by the time I realized it was already late in the night, oh, dang, I need to go to bed. And then sleep was considered to be a huge waste of time, breaks for any type of food, any type of, you know, uh, healthy food was a waste of money, waste of time. Everything needed to be done before yesterday and everyone needed to be happy. And there was a little, little, literally autopilot zombie style, like, going in front of you and there was nothing nothing else happening it was a lot happening but there was nothing really inside happening there was nothing like that actually existing if someone told me be present i would laugh at if someone told me about meditation mindfulness i would be asking double asking what is this and i don't have time for that um if someone would tell me that I need to eat healthy or I need to give give myself some breaks or nurture myself, I would also laugh because I don't have time for that. Everything else has to be done and and that's it, right? The moment that do- those days, nothing was really happening. What was happening that I was driving myself more and more into that big hole called depression, anxiety, self-hate, self-doubt, lack of any type of happiness, fulfillment and full of complaining, full of blaming entire world of my misery. Nothing was enough. Nothing was great. Nothing was Nothing was the way I wanted to be because I wanted the person who was ready for having something different. I was creating externally the world which was going inside of me. I didn't know that as well. The moment when the presence came into the awareness, so-called, the moment when I discovered presence, first of all, it was very uncomfortable. So I will be honest with you. It is uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable when someone tells you, like coach, that I want you to do nothing for five minutes a day. 
and you see it you you try to not even look around because that nothing has to be made the best in the place where there is least distractions maybe bedroom or something you're just sitting lying or 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 i don't know cross-legged seated, seated and then you are thinking that you cannot do anything actually you are not thinking because it's also sad that try not to analyze what you need to do after those five minutes try not to think try not to do anything just be just be just listen to your body just observe just sense smell taste see hear and it was so uncomfortable it was extremely uncomfortable because we are not used to be in silence hearing our you know our body telling us something our intuition we are not used to to be observing and listening to noises and voices and 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 some kind of music outside of the window because we are so much on the go that those things are passed by and never seen never observed never accomplished uh, sorry appreciated never seen and the moment when presence comes into your life is the beautiful moment when a lot of things can happen. The first and foremost is that you become aware of your environment, you become aware of your body needs, of your emotions. And once you become aware of that, you can shift so many things in your life. You can shift so many things in your life because you can start applying another tools and tasks, gratifications, journaling, meditations, you know, analyzing your emotions, thinking about them, being in flow, being in alignment, all those beautiful things, which everyone is so, so willing and so craving to have and accomplish in their life. They can come and they can literally come with ease as, as soon as we become aware and mindful and present with them. So that's really, that's really a fundamental part of any transformational part of your lifestyle. Any, if it goes with the diet, exercises, if it's about changing the habit, maybe you want to start reading more books, maybe you want to quit watching those series, maybe you want to change the lifestyle or um, the way of eating and what maybe you want to change the, the times you are sleeping, whatever it is, the changing habit, changing lifestyle, changing some some stuff in your in your life everything needs to come of the presence because only when you are present meaning when you are actually right now knowing what's going on around you right now this is the moment when you actually can make a conscious decision about food okay where am i at am i actually hungry right now am i wait a minute i'm grabbing those sweets why am i grabbing them Am I actually hungry? Do I really want them? The same with, you know, business, the same with your habit uh, changes. Is it a commitment level? Everything, motivation, drive, all those things comes when you become present, when you become aware of your existence, of your body. Because literally, when we are in that zombie mode, we walk, walk, we don't even see what's going on on the surface. We don't totally see what's going on inside of us. We don't even see that we are losing shyness on our skin, that our, you know, we are becoming grayish because we are tired. We don't see skin changes. We don't see our behavior changes. We don't see our mood changes, emotionality changes. We don't see how we are treating other people because we are so much in that zombie autopilot mode because we are not present. The moment when you start becoming present, you can change anything in your life, your own life, your own way of seeing yourself. You can become more loving to yourself, forgiving, accepting. You can become more powerful, unlimited, decisive. You can have better communication with people around you, with your relationships, romantic or not romantic, with your partner, with your kids. You can be better co-worker, you can be better a friend because all those things suddenly will start changing because you will become aware of those things around you how your behavior impacts those things and how your behavior changes can change those things around you and can change 
everything inside of you too. And this one entire beautiful, you know, results are coming into the fruition. How to be more present? How to be more present? As I mentioned, it's it's hard task. It's hard task in today's day when we are really on the go, when everything around us is such a fast pace. It is. The only way to, to really become present is to make the conscious decision of setting up few moments during the day to be present. Literally telling yourself, okay, now I'm ba- making break and I am going to the park and I want to sit and just observe what's going on in the park. Or now I'm going whatever, wherever you are at. If you are at home working with, you know, from home with ton of um, tasks, clients, and on top of that, also your kids and household activities, you need to make the conscious decision on stepping back from some of those, telling whoever is at home that you are going for five minutes walk and just doing it, just simply doing it. And it doesn't need to start big. Actually, in order for you to be successful and cre- at creating those present and awareness moments in your life, it actually needs to start slow because we don't want your um, monkey mind to start chattering and, and, and taking you away from it. So if you set up two, three minutes, it is pretty safe time pretty safe time for you to be comfortably able to let the mind go and not bother you as well as start observing and not get bored or anxious or irritated with being present. So really two, three minutes is the start and work yourself up to five, seven, ten minutes. This is enough and this is the way to create the awareness of how does it feel to be present, of what does it look like to be present, creating that uh, awareness also about the conscious making decision to be present and observant. This is the first step to the moment where we can add those present moments into more precious moments. For example, when we are facing situation where we need to make some type of decision at home, at work, and those moments, some, many of us would right away react emotionally, right away make a decision. And sometimes we need to step, not to think about decision, but sometimes actually to step back, be present and actually tell ourselves that everything is going to be fine. The decision is going to be made based on my alignment, whatever feels good, whatever sounds good. It is those moments are becoming very, very, very Mm, big treasure to you, to your making decisions and living more aligned and more aware and mindful life in any area of your life. As I mentioned, any, any area, it can start with you literally, if it, if you're struggling with depression, panic attacks, anxieties, mindfulness, being present is the must go. If you're struggling with binge eating, emotional eating, with any type of eating disorders, emotionality is underlying underlying um, problem in there. Mindfulness and presence is must go. If you are struggling with being emotional, you know, having waves and swings and not knowing what's going on, the presence is must. If you are struggling with communication, anger, maybe irritation with other people, a presence is a must. For all those areas in your life, being present and creating that awareness of who you are, awareness of that, the, the fact that you are actually in this space right now is the foundation to make any type of changes in your life in the future. I'm emphasizing this so much on one of the early episodes on the beautiful show because whatever I will be teaching later on, it really, really is based on the presence as a foundation for all those tools and the presence is also one of the first chapter in my book and the presence is one of the tool and module in my coaching programs and presence is something what yes everyone talks about you can find so many books on that mindfulness awareness presence you can but guess what it is so widely 
so widely expressed and described and and shown to this world in many many different ways books audiobooks and so on uh, different materials because it is important it is important especially the more advanced our world gets the more crazier it gets the more zombie like mode we are living in and that is not going into right direction if you are not able to stop break and then remind yourself that you are still human being with all this emotionality going on with all your fears with all your weaknesses and strengths everything is in you and if you are aware of all these things, literally magic can happen in your life. Magic can happen in your life. So many things can nicely start changing, even without much work eventually. Thank you so much for watching this episode. As I mentioned, it's really, really powerful and it's really important to, ma to many, many, many things in your life. And I would like to ask you, what would be the one thing? What would be your one thing to go to create the present moment in your life? To start creating those present little tiny slots in your life starting today. What tools? What what would be the way to create that? How would you respond to the society around you, to people around you? Would you set up the alarm clock? Would you create a morning or evening or midday routine to be present? What What is your one thing to go to create that little mini present slot for yourself starting today? I would like to hear that because that is powerful to share with others because it may really truly help anybody else, especially those who are struggling with that concept, who are still thinking, how, how am I going to create this present moment? And if they can see your responses, if they can see some of the ideas you came up with, that can really, really help another woman, another person so much and can make even huge change in their life. So I would really, really love to see your ideas and I would encourage you to incorporate, start incorporating them in your daily life and see how is that changing your, your, your awareness of what's going on around. And with more videos and more tools, we can start applying very beautiful and way more transformational tools once that foundation is set up. Thank you so much. You can find any, any information about me below, below this video in the show notes, also about that video. And I would really love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you for sharing your time and space with me and being present as much as you could during this video. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day or night whenever you are watching. And I hope to see you in the next beautiful show next Thursday. Thank you so much and sending love and huge hugs your way. Have a wonderful day, guys.